Look how high it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are we hitting? Ah! I know, you gotta go forward. Slow. Oh, shit. Okay, come out. Welcome back to our Bigfoot Chuck Camper Renovation Series. In our previous episodes, we did all the math to figure out how high we'd have to lift that camper to get it in the back of this truck. And we made some jack extensions to be able to get that camper up that high. So in this episode, we're gonna build a spacer for the box out of two by eights. And we're gonna take off these outer dualies so we can fit this truck in between the camper jacks. And we'll get that Dodge out from under the camper and see if we can fit this thing under. Well, we're almost ready to uh, fit the camper in the truck here. I got a spacer built for the box. I figure I need close to 10 inches, something like that. So I built this uh, box out of two by eight. So that's uh, two by eight's about seven and a half high on the side like that. I got a couple crossers for strength screwed all together. And then I laid another set of boards across. So that'll give me another inch and a half, so I'm uh, nine inches. And uh, then I have a full sheet of three-quarter MDF board that I'm going to lay on top, put a couple screws in there. So I'll be nine and three-quarters. It's pretty close to ten inches. And it's just a trial fit. We'll see where we end up. Um, see how it clears the cab, how it fits in there. And... Um, then uh, I'll build a real spacer once I know the exact dimension out of something. I'm um, not sure what yet, but uh, it doesn't make sense to me to do a spacer that's 10 inches thick and not have room to store stuff underneath. It's just like a whole bunch of wasted space. So um, I'll, I'd like to be able to have maybe a drawer under there that I could pull out. Um, we definitely need a, a deck off the back that we can run our stairs up to also. So I got to incorporate that somewhere in there, whether that's going to be underneath the bumper or in this space. Not sure yet. We'll make it up as we go. But um, yeah, I'll get this in the truck and get that plywood on or MDF. And then uh, maybe tonight I'll see if I can jack the camper high enough to get it in there. We'll see. It's going to be exciting. In case you're wondering why these are sticking out, really I only needed eight feet uh, for the box, but uh, I had 10 foot uh, two by eights laying around, so I'm just using them temporarily, so I won't cut them, I'll just leave them sticking out. They're gonna be fine under there. Yeah, this baby's a little too wide to fit between the uh, jacks, even with the extensions, the fold-out extensions. So I'll have to take the outside dual off to fit her in there. Those won't be the tires that are on it when uh, it's uh, when it's going to have the truck camper on it. So we'll be getting different tires and rims. So we'll get it taking those outside duals off.
the sign. Oh, maybe this. You learn something new every day. I'll make it a little easier. Sorry about the float plane noise. We get a little float plane, plane action in the morning around here. Usually, uh, usually a little earlier than this, but they're not really in full season right now. It's like ridiculously high. Oh, that totally freaks me out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Any support is appreciated. And if you'd like to see some more current content and behind the scenes action, check us out on Patreon. Look how high it is. All right, it's test time. Let's see if the bee fits underneath. You're not all the way in yet, are you? You're so close. What's that? Clearing the roof. So far. Yeah, so far, clearing the roof. Come yeah. Back three more inches and then we'll set it on there. Okay, go real slow because you're getting close back here. Please don't go any further. <laughs> like the whole thing was rocking. Yeah, because I was pushing on that. Ooh. Remember you roll. It's that little extra roll when you take your foot off the brake. It's just yeah. gross. Wow. It's on there. Good mathing, man. Man, it didn't even fall on the ground. <laughs> I was kind of 50-50. Can I go throw up now? <laughs> man, the height's like perfect. And we're not even at the top of the jacks. So hopefully with the bigger tires, how many fingers can you cross? <laughs> you gotta cross your eyes. Can you crush your eyes to go with it? <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Holy jeez, that's up there. Is that your thumbnail? Oh, it might be. <gasps> She's in. Oh, uh, truck didn't even squat. That's okay. I think the good. suspension moved. Wow. Oh, 
can hear it. It's like, it's, 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 just it's creaking. <laughs> he did it. Yeah, have to do a couple measurements on the cab, see if that's sufficient. And uh, I think the nine and a half inches or whatever we ended up with there works, which I thought I might have to adjust a bit, but should do the trick. Good job. I'm a little concerned about the door height. <laughs> <laughs> why? why? Let's see why. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's the bottom of the door. <laughs> Let's grab the door handle. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll grab the door handle. Okay. <laughs> Want me to hang the stairs on and see how they work? They're not even going to touch. <laughs> feel louder. Uh, I don't know if you didn't be able to see in the uh, no. in the basement if we had a drawer. That's too funny. I guess I better get an idea on height. We got to keep it under thirteen foot six to be legal in most states, and uh, I sh I'm kind of. Rough calculation, I figured we were a uh, little over 13 feet and still we're probably going to go from 37 inch tires up to 41 inch tires. So that's going to be another two inches of height. So uh, I'll grab a measuring tape and get up there and get an idea. I think the top of the ladder is the um, is the highest point. The good thing is we, do, we don't have a rooftop air conditioner, which if we would have got one with an air conditioner, we would have had to take it off most likely anyway. And um, I would like to have the uh, air vent covers, whatever they're called, but I don't think we can, I don't think we'll have room for the extra height they give off. Figure that out later, but we'll see where we are right now. Well, that's a pretty good number. I'm gonna say it's around 149 to 150. So that'll be a little over 12 feet. Go in here. Yeah, we were somewhere in around there. So uh, 144 is 12 feet. So we're say 150 to be safe, 12 and a half feet. It's pretty good. I might have room to add some vent covers. Not that we wanna get too high though. Um, the lower the better, really. So we'll have to decide whether that's worth doing or not. But uh, I like the number, that's good. As far as cab clearance goes, um, the cab on the Kodiak is kind of rounded. And it looks like it's really hard to measure in the middle, but I'd say it's really close to two inches clearance. And then, uh, you know, we have probably three and a half on the outside edge here. So. These things get quite a bit of twist. The uh, box is actually mounted on a subframe on these, which it has a rigid mount right over top of the axle. And then I believe the front and the back are just center mounted so everything can kind of articulate. So we're gonna get more twists than a regular pickup truck would get. But um, it's a really rigid frame, so I don't think we'll get much front to back. So our sh clearance shouldn't really change. We should be pivoting on the center which will get the sides maybe closer, but we have a lot of clearance on the sides. And I don't think the front one will change that much in my theory anyway. So I think we're good there, even with just two inches in the middle. It seems to be that's the minimum that uh, anybody recommends running, but I'd be nervous if it was two inches at the side because of the extra articulation in this truck, but uh, I think it'll be good there. I'm sitting at 9.75 inch spacer right now in the bed and I still don't have the rubber mat in. I have a rubber uh, bed mat in the other truck that I'm going to put in here once my platform is all made, which will add about another three eighths of an inch. Uh, so I'll probably just leave when I make my new platform, I'll still make it at 9.75 and then I'll add that three eighths rubber mat. That's going to give us even a little bit more clearance up there. and. Uh, I imagine that three eighths will compress down to a little less, but uh, somewhere in there, it's coming together. Have you ever had a leak inside of your RV windows? We have.
Um, Who am I talking to? <laughs> I think you're on the phone or... He actually believed I was talking to myself there for a minute. You should be offended.